Hey YouTube, Kevin here of TriPro Studios. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth amplifier review of the PBJSX Joe Satriani 120 watt head. We're also going to be taking you through the front and back panel of this amplifier, and I'm going to be taking you through some sound settings just so you can get uh, a rough idea of what this amplifier sounds like, and if you have this amplifier, come up with new ways maybe of sounds that uh, you want to explore, get you that much closer to the sound that you want. Enjoy. The PV JSX Joe Satriani Signature All Tube Head is a three channel 120 watt head that produces crystal clear cleans and bluesy to some of the heaviest rock tones and some metal with the option of low and high gain inputs as well as a fat switch. This amplifier has an endless amount of tone options that will give any player of any style of music what they desire from this amplifier. Front panel, power switch, turns power on and off to the unit. Standby switch allows the amp to be placed in standby mode. In the standby position, the tubes warm up, stay hot, but make the amplifier not operational. By putting your amp in standby right away, you are giving your amplifier much needed time to warm up your tubes and properly start up. Doing this will make your tubes and amplifier last longer and stay more efficient and is highly recommended. Power status lamp illuminates when main power is being supplied to the amp. Presence knob used to fine tune the high frequency range of the speaker enclosure by varying the damping factor of the amplifier at high frequency. Resonance knob used to fine tune the low frequency range of the speaker enclosure by varying the damping factor of the amplifier at low frequency. Master volume controls the overall volume level of the amplifier. Treble knob varies the high frequency response of the amplifier. Mid knob varies the mid frequency response of the amplifier. Bass knob varies the low frequency response of the amplifier. Volume knob sets the volume on the respective channel. Gain knob controls the amount of distortion and sustain level inputted into the channel. Fat switch. This top of switch modifies the low frequency response of the amplifier. For example, with the guitar volume control turned down, the fat switch will make the guitar's attack tighter, but with the guitar volume control knob higher, the attack is sloppier. Noise gate knob. Control the amount of hiss and hum that affects your dirty channels. With this knob, tighten up your sound or be able to control the mayhem. The choice is yours. Channel select switch. Toggle through the JSX's three channels manually with this toggle switch. Note, the toggle switch must be set in the ultra position in order to use the amp's foot switch. High gain input. Used for most electronic guitars, it is six decibels louder than the low gain input. Low gain input. Provided for instruments that have extremely high outputs that tend to overdrive the high gain input. If both inputs are used simultaneously, the output levels are the same. Back panel, effects send level knob, sets the level of signal being sent to external effects and or signal processors. Clockwise rotation increases the amount of signal being sent, counterclockwise rotation decreases it. Note, for the quietest operation, the effects send level should be set as high as possible. Generally, the send and return levels should be set oppositely. If the effects send level is set low, the effects return level is set high to achieve unity gain. If volume boost is desired, turn both controls to higher settings. Effects return level sets the level of signal being returned from the external effects and or signal processor. Remote switch. This seven pin DIN connector is provided for the connection of the remote foot switch. Bias test terminals are provided to measure the bias of the amplifier's power tubes. A knob behind the back panel grill allows for adjustment. Bias adjustment should only be done by a qualified technician. Cabinet impedance switch allows appropriate selection of speaker cabinet impedance. Speaker outputs provided for the connection of speaker enclosures. Line out level knob sets the level of signal being sent out of the line out jack. Line out jack provides a post power amp signal to drive another power amp speaker system while maintaining the amplifier's tone. Fuse, ground polarity switch, is a three position rocker type switch used to alleviate hiss and hum coming from the speaker enclosure. IEC mains connector. Foot switch, ultra and crunch switch, selects between the ultra and crunch channels on the amplifier. The adjacent LED will illuminate when the ultra channel is selected. 
When the LED is dark, the crunch channel is selected. Note, the clean selector green LED light must be deselected in order to change the ultra crunch channels. Clean selector selects the clean channel and will activate regardless of the position of the ultra and crunch channels. This channel is selected when the green LED is present. Effect selector activates the amplifier's effects loop. This is selected when the yellow LED is present.
concludes my review of the PVJSX Joe Satriani 120 watt signature series head. Uh, this is an excellent amplifier. I didn't find too many issues with it. Uh, I love that it has a, a noise suppressor built into it. Although uh, the gain on this is absolutely incredible. There's so much gain on this that uh, the noise suppressor doesn't really isn't able to really hold on to a lot of it once you're past six, seven. Uh, but other than that, it's an excellent sounding amplifier. There's a lot of different versatility in this amplifier for uh, finding the sound that you want. Find anything from a, a bluesy clean to just like a pushed clean sound right to almost a heavy metal distortion sound. I wouldn't uh, put a, a, a tube screamer in front of this amp. I think it sounds great. Uh, Special thanks to uh, Joe Flynn, a technician that I know and a good friend of mine for uh, fixing this amp after I picked it up. I fortunately got this amp for about 400 bucks. Uh, the guy that had it for me unfortunately broke off the uh, send level knob. So uh, Joe took it apart, uh, fixed the, the knob on the back as well as cleaned out all the pots and uh, re-soldered uh, the noise suppressor so it actually works a lot better than what it did before it wasn't working as well and now that there's it's fixed it's actually cleaning up a lot more of the signal and I'm not getting too much of a honky sound like I was uh, before which is a huge complaint with these amps for some people some people love the sound of that I didn't find I like, uh, found any uh, issues with this amplifier it sounded great, looked great and it was an absolute steal of a deal if anybody else out there wants to buy a brand new version of this amplifier unfortunately this exact model of the JSX PV isn't available anymore but PV remade it after uh, Joe Satriani left PV and they made the Triple uh, X2 so it's the exact same amp just a little bit of a different look I hope I've been able to help some of the viewers out there distinguish if this is the amplifier that's ready for you or not. hope I've been able to answer any of the questions some of the viewers have had out there on this particular amplifier. Until next time, I'm Kevin from TriCrow Studios. Take care.